Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sabha Nayagam. I am an intensivist at MGM Healthcare, Chennai. These are unprecedented times and the mankind is facing its most difficult challenge of all times, COVID-19. To add fuel to the flame, there is shortage of drugs, shortage of vaccines and above all, there is shortage of oxygen now, which is posing a great threat towards even closing major hospitals across the country. As clinicians, there are many changes that we can bring about in our practices which can help us overcome these difficult times of oxygen shortage and thereby help us save more lives. Now, I'm a clinician. What can I do as a clinician to overcome these difficult times? Now, number one, from the device perspective, high flow nasal cannulas. These are very useful devices which are used across different areas of the hospital. But unfortunately, these devices use very high amounts of oxygen to the tune of 30 to 60 liters per minute, which is sometimes around three to five times the amount of oxygen utilized by most of the other devices that we regularly use. So we can try to minimize the usage of high flow nasal cannulas and in, wherever possible, we can make use of other devices like non-invasive ventilation or BiPAPs to replace the high flow nasal cannulas. Number two, BiPAPs are very useful equipments and when we use BiPAPs, it is better to connect the oxygen through a nasal cannula to the patient's nostril directly rather than connecting the oxygen tubing to the BiPAP circuit. Now this helps us achieve the same FiO2 with the lesser amounts of oxygen. Number three, usage of Ambu bags. Whenever we want to pre-oxygenate a patient or when we hand ventilate uh, an intubated patient, it is better to use the Ambu bags in the place of a Bain circuit because Ambu bags are known to use lesser oxygen for the same amounts of FiO2 required. Number four, nebulizing machines. Whenever a nebulization is required across any part of the hospital, it's better to use a nebulizer rather than using oxygen as a means to nebulize a patient. And number five, oxygen concentrators. Now these are machines which can give up to 10 liters of oxygen without any problems. And for milder cases, especially at the ward level setups, oxygen concentrators can be used, which can do away with the usage of oxygen from a cylinder or a wall supply of oxygen. To re-emphasize, oxygen supplementation is a treatment for hypoxia. There is no scientific evidence to recommend oxygen for patients who are not hypoxic. So use the available oxygen judiciously and save more lives. Be safe and take care. Thank you.